you can animate effects using a process known as keyframing. In this example, we have the Gaussian blur effect animated using keyframes. As the video plays, you see the blurriness amount changing. To add keyframes, let's first apply an effect to a clip in the timeline. Make sure that the clip is selected, then go to the Effect Controls window and expand the effect properties. In this example, we'll apply different blurriness values using multiple keyframes throughout the clip. To add the first keyframe, click on the stopwatch icon right beside the effect property's name. You'll see a keyframe added where the playhead is. To add another keyframe, move the playhead to a new location and click on the Add Keyframe button. Then change the effect property's value. Let's add one more keyframe to the end of the clip. Move the playhead, click on the Add Keyframe button, and change the effect property's value. We can move through the keyframes using these buttons. We've got our first keyframe with a blur value of 0. We've got our second keyframe with a value of 50. And our last keyframe with a value of 0 as well. So as our video plays, the blurriness begins at 0 and will start to increase up to 50. After that, it will start going back down again until it reaches 0. You can adjust the timing of the animation by clicking and dragging the keyframes. To remove a keyframe, right click on it and choose Clear. You can add keyframes to other effects as well. In this example, keyframes were added to the position, scale, and rotation properties of the motion effect.